If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a motivational speaker, a personal trainer, and modern day performing strongman, which means I perform real life feats of strength like bending steel, breaking chains, and more as part of a live performance. For the past decade, one feat has simultaneously enthralled me and terrified me at the same time. Every time one zoomed by me on the highway, I would wonder, could I do that? And I decided this was the year I was gonna try it out. This was the year I was going to attempt holding back a high performance motorcycle. And in this video, I show some highlights of behind the scenes. Come along for the ride. So when it comes to doing the, the big human link feed with the motorcycle, they don't really make stuff like that for this sort of thing. So I kind of have to do it myself or have it custom made. So what I'm doing is I am taking some abstracts from Spud Inc. And these things are super heavy duty. They supposedly can hold up to 1,500 pounds which is an incredible amount. I have no idea why anybody would need to do that for leg lifts, but for my purposes, they are perfect. And the way I think I'm doing it is I'm going to be looping through this side and then I'm gonna have a handle put on here, looping this side on the other side. Also with a handle that I can grab like this. One end is gonna be on the motorcycle, one end is gonna be on an immovable object. The handle, that I figure I'm going to use are these body elastics ones. I had bought some body elastics um, training bands a while back and these handles are extra, I don't really need them, but this handle right here is a nice comfortable grip that I figure I can do it like that. Um, I'm going, I had bought some heavy duty webbing that I figure I can loop through like this and then have it stitched. I was gonna do it myself, but I'm like, you know what? I don't really know that much about sewing it. I gotta make sure I do this right. So I'm going to take it over to a cobbler. But first, I gotta cut these things off. test run on grass where the friction is going to be, or traction is going to be just a bit less. I hadn't planned on doing this today, but here we are. One of the kickers is I already worked out today. Hope this goes okay. Right? Hopefully the day for the first attempt on pavement. We had a couple hiccups. My brother-in-law, who was originally supposed to do it, it now has a work conflict. So he's gonna be unable to make the event. And uh, his backup, also unable to do it. So now his backups, so now the backup, backup rider just informed me that he's on his way. And we are going to, uh, I guess, see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so the after action
action report, I figured. Um, so we successfully completed uh, the feet, holding back the motorcycle, taking off at full throttle. It was tough, as you can see, there's a, a lot of pull, you know, but I didn't feel like it was gonna break my grip. Or th this is the bruising that it, that it gave me, and then the handle is actually digging into my arm. Um, it left a, it looks like an imprint, but that seems to have gone up now. Um, with this particular feat that I was, or the, the bike that I was practicing on, just to get a feel for it, uh, the guy that, that owns the bike had said, this is actually way heavier and it's going to be much harder to achieve that burnout. And since we were, um, not able to use the original bike, I was like, well, you know what, if, let's, let's do it. If I can survive this, then I should be able to survive the other one. Um, without issue, so I wanted to, to test by throwing myself in a trial by fire. So after a quick trip to Home Depot to get some chains to hold, hold onto the bike, I was like, all right, let's give this a go. And as you can probably tell, it went okay. You know, my arms are still attached, so that's good. And the next time we do it, we are going to be ready to perform the feat live in front of a crowd to help generate money for kids with cancer. Alright, so the day is finally here. I had a pretty relaxing night last night. We spent the morning this morning relaxing and just trying to keep my mind um, clear. I'll admit that there are so nerves, even though I've done a heavier bike, there's still a lot of unknowns, you know, like I haven't done this bike, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Um, and also, my forearms are pretty tight from just working the gym. You know, like uh, with my personal training studio, I do all of the loading and unloading of the plates for my clients, basically 12 hours a day, multiple times within that hour. So my, and my forearms are always getting worked to, to an extent. And yesterday just happened to be very busy day with that stuff. Having said that, and having relaxed last night, I am pretty confident that I can pull it off, um, but I guess only time will tell. I'm gonna be leaving in a couple minutes, so we'll see pretty shortly. <laughs> this one for, like I said, the past 10 years. And having performed at this event previously, I always kind of figured that would be where I would end up doing it. So now that the time has finally come, it's like crossover one hurdle. So I figured I would do the recap, um, the after action report, while it's still fresh on my mind because I just got back. I haven't even eaten yet, but I will in a second. So, one of the reasons that I wore this shirt is I knew it was gonna be hot. Um, and I was glad that the weather today wasn't terrible. You know, in the past couple weeks here in New Jersey, we've, it's been like temperatures of like upper, like mid, mid, mid to upper 90s some days, ridiculous humidity. And today, even though it was pretty warm, was not unbearable. And because it's un it wasn't unbearable, um, there was a, a lot of people there. You know, I was able to draw a lot of the crowd to me, which is always a relief because even though I don't normally perform in front of an empty hall, uh, I've never really had an issue with this in the past, there's always a chance that something like that's gonna happen. So it's always a relief to see that, that um, 
that there was a crowd to perform for. A couple people that I know traveled out from significant distance to come see, see me and they were able to provide me footage, which I think I've included. I mean, I haven't put together the video, the, uh, the highlight reel yet, but I will pretty soon once I see all of it. Now, one of the other reasons that I wanted to wear this shirt was particularly because you can see that the, there's bruising on my arm. Now, this feat is something that is relatively easy to fake. All the person has to do is just hold the front brake down, and it's that easy to fake it. But I wanted people to show, I wanted to show people this is in fact real, as you can see with my scuff marks. Um, so I thought that that was important. I was glad that it um, was relatively comfortable outside. Now, as for what's next, I'm not really sure. Nothing has quite excited me and terrified me at the same time. Nothing has made me wonder if I can do it quite like the motorcycle has. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there's always new and bigger and bigger challenges to face. One of the things that I talk about is we all owe it to ourselves to find out what we're truly capable of, and this was the feat that made me always wonder, could I pull it off? And today, we answered that question. Yes, I can. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button. If you got comments or questions or anything like that, drop it in the comments below. And if it's a question I haven't already answered, I'll try to get back to you with your very own customized video. Um, if you want anybody to see this, please share it with them. But in the meantime, please stay happy, stay healthy, uh, stay strong. Please stay safe, everyone. Eric Moss, over there.